Today's a big day. The tools that you see here are not gonna be there anymore. We're making progress, everyone. Now the question I have is something, I've been kind of worried about something. Tarps trap moisture. Critters like to live under tarps, but I have had some cats that like to hang out in here. I have not looked in here in quite some time, so we're gonna take a look together. What happens when you leave your tools outside under a tarp? Well, I thought I might see a rusty mess. That didn't happen. They look actually pretty good, honestly. I think it helped out that my cats could hang out in there with the tools too. Got a black widow right there. These tools are no longer gonna have to sit here. Well, the truth is that they didn't have to sit here, but the problem is, is I was always shuffling them around. That's gonna end today because we're continuing work on the shed project. My wife and I got started on this a few months back when we built the frame out of sawmilled lumber. It was on hold because I wanted to have enough money to be able to completely finish it. Well, at least close it in. I have all the material necessary now to put the flooring in, stand the walls, cover the walls with matching siding, and I have the tin. That stuff is getting delivered either today or tomorrow. This is going to be an absolute game changer for us. This is going to save us $75 a month. Get stuff out of storage. Get the rest of my belongings here on site. That has cost me money, efficiency, and honestly, the desire to do projects is inhibited because I just hate driving down the road to go try to rummage and find something. So come along and watch me stand these walls. I'm gonna do this, try to do it by myself. I'm gonna see if I can do it without my boys or my wife's help. They're busy doing school. I have a day off of work. And I told my wife confidently, I think I can handle it. Okay, go, um, let's see what happens. You can come up and look at it if you want. What do you think, bud? This is so nice. It's cool. It is so cool. Wow. 
Did you think it would never happen? Kind of. <laughs> I think all my viewers were thinking that too. It looks nice. It looks really nice, huh? <sighs> Are you gonna do like a door or something? Right there, I'm gonna cut a door in right there. But not right now. Okay. I'm waiting until I have it sealed up. Oh, okay. Or almost all the way sealed up. We have a change of plans. My kids are gonna go ahead and help me. I need to go get fuel in town. This took me a little longer. I decided to stop and eat lunch. And my wife wants the kids to help and I want their help too. That's what we're all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this and pretty soon, two boys ought to be here. It's gonna be real nice to have the boys here. I could certainly do this project by myself, but it is gonna be better, that's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and hit all my seams here, and I'll have my boys, will snap a string line here so I can nail down through here too. You're gonna have to wind it back up and get more chalk on it. Thank you guys for coming out here. All this material is leftovers from my home build. And so unfortunately I've got to cut all my studs to length. Perfect. Yeah, that one goes between those. That's a top plate. All right. Okay, now we're gonna flip them up on edge, guys, like this. So bring them to the edge so I can work on them. So what this is, this is marking both at once so we don't have to do it again, right? I'm gonna go ahead and trim this edge off here. And the reason why I'm doing that is when I built this, I wanted this edge to be flat with that edge. So if I were to build it square on the platform, what would happen is this wall would kick out like this and you'd see it. We're not gonna see that this isn't gonna be a perfect 90 right here. So this is where I wanna um, take it off. Over on that end, everything should be better. But again, we're not completely square here. You can see down this board here, I've got I've got this one goes like this because this board was actually warped. Plus I have also the variation of my, my posts there as well. Remember, this is not a how you do it video. This is about how the Okie Woodsman does it on my rural Oklahoma property. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. We need 14 91 and a half. 14 91 and a half. So I'm gonna go right that over there. 91 and a half is my number. All right. Okay, this one needs to go get lined up. made a small strategical error because I used treated material on my bottom plate you're technically supposed to use galvanized or uh, coated nails like this right here this is a galvanized coated nail however it's only two and a half inches but hey um, I just want to make sure that the nails do not deteriorate inside of it
Okay, don't shoot into my deck. Okay. Go ahead. Good. Got your safety glasses on. Good. Make sure you don't miss it. Okay. All right. So now we just got to get the top one. So, as you can tell, this is non-optimal wood, but that's why it's not in my house. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to line this edge up here. Oh, um, I don't need my galvanized nails anymore, so I'm going to go to threes. Will you grab the three inch nails? They're right there. These are my threes right here. Oh no, maybe they're not. Oh, you know what? Those are threes. Oh, cool. Well, that's perfect. Oh, I could have used those then, but that's okay. We're going to use these on the top here. I'm going to hold this straight and you're going to shoot it. Shoot it again one more time. Down below, down below. Yep. All right. Let's go to this end and do the same thing. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Let's make sure we don't take it off. Okay, go. Um, All right, so we want to be flat here, so it looks like we're there, okay? Uh, we need to be a little bit that way. We should probably focus it on screwing it to that. We will. I'm making sure this doesn't move. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, good. Awesome. There we go. There we go. I can't fall now. Good job. Oh, good. Good job. All right, you're good. All right, come on down here, son. Let's go ahead and give these a nail. Go ahead. Okay, good. Go ahead. Good. Okay, that one's done. All right. Okay, I'm going to shoot this bottom one first. I'll shoot a nail. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and shoot the bottom here first. Okay. Yep, okay, now hold on. Oh, I'm gonna twist this. No, you're fine. Never mind. Okay, and shoot the top now. Good job. Okay, shoot one more right here. Because this one's got splits in the board. Good job, son. Okay. Okay, next one. Alright, ready? Pick it up. Is, uh, now hold it there. Grab another screw and you can do one more. Perfect. All right. Good plan. All right, let's see what we look like here. Guys, we have two walls up now. Yep. <gasps> How about that, huh? It's yeah. amazing. I want you to screw this on to here. Just screw it right into there. Yes. We're gonna use leverage to twist it. Okay, do one more right here. Son, yes, can you do it? You see, you knew what you were doing, didn't you? Okay, twist it. There we go. Look at that, isn't that nice? Okay, hold on. When you've got material that you cannot just bend by hand, do this. Okay, pick up together. Okay, okay, perfect. 
Look at you guys standing a wall. Okay. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Get up underneath it. I'm holding it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, good. Keep it upright. Good job, boys. That's plum. Plum. All right. Okay. Does it stay plum when I let go of it? Yep. Okay. Still, Still plum? Yep. Is it for sure? Sure. Okay. I'm excited for that. I wish this had a hook. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Like it was on purpose. This is just the first little bit of getting this uh, shed enclosed. You can see that a lot of the boards were quite warped. Wouldn't you say they were pretty warped, boys? Yeah, they were pretty yeah. warped. Yeah, they were pretty curved. Now this is the thing, that's why I had them, is because those are the ones I rejected when I was building the house. But just because they're a little twisted, doesn't mean I'm not gonna be able to use them or can't use them. My boys are learning, right? You guys know I'm not professional, right? Yeah. I just kinda do it and hopefully it makes sense. Yep. Okay. Hopefully tomorrow what I'm wanting to do is we're gonna go ahead and get the roof pieces on, the roof uh, trusses. They're two by sixes that are gonna terminate this way. So now that I have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and think about that. The pitch of the roof is not going, it's not gonna meet like this. It's gonna be like this, okay? So I think. So in order to have the proper proportions for it to look good, this roof may end up being a little bit flatter, but we will find out. I might change my plans when I'm working on it tomorrow. We'll see, I'm working off of no drawings. We're working an eight foot by 16 foot platform. So basically that works out really well for four by eight material, 16 foot, eight foot material and so forth. And I also had to cut all of my studs because I was cutting them out a long stock. And again, it's a shame to cut 16 foot, 20 foot two by fours, but those were not straight enough to really utilize for anything that long. We're not building a house, we're building a shed. You know, so I put a little block in there. This is not gonna be load bearing anywhere over here. I'll have, um, I'm gonna have a two by six up there. I'm gonna have some vertical studs that run up and that's gonna taper from nothing to something over there, okay? Um, so I think this will work. This was kind of the leftover bits, the top plate there. And, uh, and I think we're gonna be pretty solid. Now we're not completely done affixing these corners and, and up here, before I get too crazy with that, I wanna make sure we're plumb because that's one thing you can do hopefully is make sure you're plumb before you move forward. It's an absolute nightmare when you get things, square is a big deal, but plumb is worse. So you always wanna be plumb and I want my lines. I would rather be out of square, but have a good 16 foot plane than have, then correct it to being square, but have walls jog weird. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Um, and so this side wall here kind of covers up a little bit of a sin here and there, but it's not by any means perfect. Uh, before I get done, I am going to go ahead and fasten in that uh, bottom plate there on this bottom side a little bit better because I forgot we didn't do that in the middle here. Okay, now walk this all the way down to the end. Okay, keep, keep a good tautness on it, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer this out to match that and then we're going to screw it down. Okay. Am I just barely touching it now? I'm gonna put it right there, straight down. This wall's straight now, okay? Yep. Uh, it's pretty straight. Make sure you are vertical. Thank you for watching, and make sure you join us on the next installment of this build here. On our way to saving $75 a month, I will be disclosing the costs. I'll probably just show receipts. That'll be the best possible way to do this, I think. And uh, it's astonishing. Remember, I have sawmilled lumber, 
timber in there that I cut and it's still amazing. And I've also shopped things. I'm trying to get it as affordable as possible. So guys, thank you for watching the Okie Woodsman channel and I'll see you on the next one.